Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum seeing those clouds. They were welcome sights today. It did help keep the temperatures down, but we're still had a dry day here in Birmingham. So far, we're at 32 consecutive days with no rain here across the Birmingham area, putting us right now sixth all time. We had 31. We'll get the new official climate report making it 32 a little later today here. But again, looks like that's where we're going to stay here. Don't think we'll get quite to 35, but we do have some rain that's going to be in the forecast. In the short term, though, we are talking about Halloween's weather. Unseasonably warm, breezy, can't roll out a shower, but it's overnight Halloween into Thursday night, Friday morning. That's we could see a weak cold front moving in here, bringing us some rain, especially over west and northwest Alabama or along and north there of Interstate 59. So that could finally break us of this consecutive trend without some rain across the area. And then by the weekend, we drive back out with some more comfortable weather and it does stay warm with a few clouds. But we have a lot of cloud cover out there now from our BJCC camera. 74 degrees our temperature with those easterly winds and it's that easterly flow that's helped to bring us the the cloud cover and even a couple of stray showers not too far away from the Anderson area. I've seen a little bit of some rain developing there, kind of just to the south there in some parts there of uh, uh, Lineville area back toward Anderson, Oxford, heading up toward Jacksonville and back over toward Gadsden area. Maybe a quick little shower in the higher elevations, a little lifting the of the uh, land there, the ore graphic lifting, sparking off a couple of showers for you all. But uh, otherwise, though, that easterly flow coming from the Atlantic helping to bring us that low level moisture and the cloud cover across our area. Off to our west though clear in Mississippi at least the northern part but then here's our big front that we're watching pretty powerful front now severe weather breaking now can see a significant tornado event and severe thunderstorms from Oklahoma Kansas back into Missouri maybe some Arkansas area even north Louisiana picking up a few strong storms there as well we will not see any severe weather when the front gets here it's going to weaken as all the energy from it moves off to the Great Lakes but look at this Chicago is at 76 degrees right now versus 51 in Minneapolis How about 34 Rapid City 40 degrees or so in Denver that chilly air will stay more or less to the behind the front and to the north, not come down here. But we will see an increased chance for rain a little bit tomorrow, more so Thursday night into Friday before we dry out this weekend. Maybe another chance of some rain a little later on next week. But future cast will show again. We're looking at those temperatures falling to the 60s by 11 o'clock tonight. Maybe a stray shower or two. More clouds tomorrow morning, kind of a mostly cloudy day tomorrow. Temperatures will try to get to the lower 80s. We could see a couple of showers during the day on Thursday. Many of you during the afternoon will be dry, but it's Thursday evening, we start watching rain and thunderstorms here over western and northwestern Alabama back into Mississippi. Watch how as that works its way closer into Alabama starts to break up a little bit here by 8 o'clock. So many of us for trick or treating will be fine. It's Double Springs, Jasper, Fayette, Hamilton, Carrollton, Aliceville area, maybe toward Tuscaloosa, Demopolis. We'll have to watch for a little rain for those trick or treaters. But as we go on into 11 o'clock, most of those storms die out to a couple of showers here. And then overnight, we'll see a few showers as well into Friday morning. Temperature starting in the 60s there, but as our front moves through Friday, little to no rain with that best chance going to be again along north of the 59 20 corridor throughout your day on Friday. But notice the not much rain, 100th inch of rain here, maybe over an inch though up in the Hamilton area. So for trick or treaters, we are looking at a uh, little rain possible 7 to 8 o'clock, mainly in the western part of the state. So your forecast then calls for that rain coming in Thursday night and Friday dry this weekend just in time to change those clocks. But it looks pretty good as we head into Election Day on Tuesday.